guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So we are on to our August favorites and what? Like, I know every damn person says that, like, oh my god, I can't believe it's the end of the month already. Well, but it really come on. Like, I feel like this month went by so fast because of the Olympics. Like, that was what I was doing, and before I knew it, then it was done. So, I guess to start, Olympics are my favorite. It is. I just love it, and it happens every four years for Summer Olympics. But anyway, so yeah, that's definitely a favorite, and it just made this month just go. So, let's get into to it though I do have some beauty actually a decent amount of beauty items because I couldn't just narrow it down I just couldn't and I also have a couple food items not a lot and then maybe like a movie or something too we'll see <laughs> anyway by the way hold on let's just all take a breather because this is something you do not know about me hold on do you remember these this was a thing like five six years ago and every damn girl had these and you had to have like every single one listen i have them all and i've never worn them on camera and i really feel like bringing it back so don't be surprised if you see these obnoxious plastic bracelets just throwing that out there first item and maybe i'll kind of even go in order of how i apply them but <laughs> uh it's going to be actually this clinique redness solutions moisturizer it's actually a daily relief cream and i have been using this i'm wearing it today before applying my makeup and i love this stuff now i've had this for a long time and i just didn't kind of got went forgotten right well now i've used almost half of it not just this month because i had used it before but i'm getting through it now and i love this i feel like it does you'll notice it's like it's probably hard to tell on camera but it does have a slight tinge of green to it um, to tone down redness but it's primarily a cream color and I really just like the way that this does not irritate my skin at all it feels good it does not make me oily for being a thick cream I love this if you are someone that does have some redness and splotchiness which a lot of us do I would definitely recommend this good stuff Next item, although I'm not wearing it today, I'm actually, I do have like full foundation on today, but I would have to say my favorite this month is this NARS Tinted Moisturizer. This is the Velvet Matte one, although I have to admit, I think now having used both NARS Tinted Moisturizers in the Pure Radiant and now this Velvet Matte one, I do think I like the Pure Radiant one better, which is kind of surprising because this is more geared for that true matte finish, probably some more oily, like myself and I don't know I think I actually like the other one a little bit better but when that one ran out I did pick this one up because I wanted to try it and I still absolutely love it I really do I'm just comparing now but this is just so great for the summer it just is it doesn't take much at all and it just gives you some light coverage evens you out which again although sometimes we do want that full full coverage face I think through summer the majority of the time we're going for very minimal makeup <laughs> because it's so hot and we just don't want that cakiness happening I get it but this is my go-to for that for sure I love it Next is going to be the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the, her newest one, the Cream Locket Concealer. Love this. You've heard me talk about this now on most recent tutorial. And this stuff is good. And it looks like this. It has just a little doe foot applicator and it's a little bit pointed. It's, it's very nice and easy to use. What I love about this in comparison to her original formula one is this is very full coverage still. I have it on today, but it's super light. Like you do not feel it at all. I have no problems with it creasing on me. This is good stuff. Whereas her original one was a little much. It worked well, but not for under the eyes. That was more of good for like spot concealing, not so much, you know, brightening. I love this. And I would like to say that my Naked Skin one is like my all time favorite. I will repurchase it when it's empty. Well, I just finished it. And I'm not in a rush right now because I have this and I'm good with this. So not to say it's necessarily better, 
but it might be. I need to give it a little more time. And in that meantime, I'm gonna just stick to this for now. Crazy. On that same note, my next favorite item for sure, hands down, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is holy grail, and I've only had it about a month. No joke here. This stuff is amazing. And I have been applying it sometimes actually all over my face, especially if I am just using the tinted moisturizer. I really like to just set the whole damn thing with this. <laughs> but if I'm not and I'm actually wearing a foundation and then I'm putting on concealer, I set my concealer with this and I do it with a dampened beauty blender. Amazing. Please try this if you have not. Like, life changing insane I love it next item is actually going to be a brush and it is the morphe g9 brush and this just cracks me up because one well, dirty but it I used to never use these I did not like these I thought they were dumb <laughs> and here I am I'm it's my favorite and I love it and I love applying my foundation now with it and then going in at the end with a damp beauty blender just to kind of like press it all in but I love applying foundation with this now and I feel like I am getting a much better look with it than I have in the past and making sure that it's all blended in well and covering my full face. I love this thing. Who knew? <laughs> In fact, I think I have even some other ones that aren't like a higher end uh, brush of these and I've just never used them. Yeah, because I just thought they were dumb and now I love them. Next beauty item. This is a random one and I don't necessarily talk about it too much on camera or wear it much on camera. This is like a nighttime thing for me. I love it. I have to be completely honest. Mary Kay. Are you familiar with Mary Kay? I don't know if you can see that or not. Mary Kay I'm not a big fan of. To be completely honest, there hasn't been a lot of products that I've come in contact with and really, really loved. I don't know. I just kind of meh. I don't know. Meh. And so I'm surprised that this is probably, again, a holy grail for me. And this is called their Satin Lips Lip Balm. Oh my god, like it is so, so soft to a fault. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's like, what are you? What is this? Unbelievable. My mom got me this and actually she got me like four of them. I'm thinking about even giving like one in my next giveaway because I mean, I love it. I would use it, but I want you guys to try this because unreal it's so crazy it makes your lips so soft and it's so funny because like if nate gives me a kiss or something after i'm wearing it he's like he he, <laughs> he comes up and he he like rubs his lips on mine because he wants it and i'm like listen <laughs> hold on <laughs> and he's like that's good i'm like i know it's like velvet it's unbelievable so satin lips lip balm by mary Kay. who knew but i love it Palette of the month is gonna go to the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia because I'm that girl. But <laughs> it's just gorgeous. It really is. I have done a look using this on camera for you guys. I've talked about it a lot. I will not go into it again, really. It's fantastic. It just is, yeah. Okay, moving on to food items. First one is going to actually be this quad, this quartet of hummus. Like this is so good and I love that you get so many different flavors. This is from Trader Joe's. You get roasted garlic, regular, tomato basil hummus and spicy hummus and I love this I love the roasted garlic and the original for just like dipping like crackers or like veggies into and I love the spicy ones to put in wraps as like kind of your mayo if you will I love it and the tomato basil one's good too but those if those three are like those are mine and <laughs> but my husband eats the other one too I just love that you get this whole pack and it's something different because I love hummus I really do but sometimes when you buy one you kind of get sick of that one flavor I like that I can literally just dip into this 
all at once if I want a little this little that it's good um, I'm using I'm saving this though for my vegan empties if you guys do not watch those people really like them and that's so fantastic and they'll be in my next one it will next item is actually gonna be this LaCroix what so I used to hate LaCroix and I thought it was disgusting and <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> and I'm like how do people drink this but I something happened this last month where I just absolutely love it now and I like to have one like a day at least and this one in particular I just got is in the berry flavor I don't know if you're gonna see that or not but this is in berry loud mm -hmm. yeah it's good even my husband he's like these are disgusting I don't like them and last night I was having one I was like try this one he's like okay that one's not bad I'm like see mm -hmm. mm. so good it's good and it kind of just psychs me out because I'm a soda lover and I'm trying really really hard not to have them and this is working for me it's in a can it's <laughs> It's got that that sound, that bubble. It's good. I really like this. And I also just got the mango one. That one's really good too. But this berry one is definitely my favorite for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's actually all the items I have to show you this time. Sometimes I have more like food items or more like random items. Um, and then sometimes I have more beauty. But I think this time will be more beauty. But what else? What else? What did we see this month? We went and saw... <laughs> I'm going to share a story to end this video. We went and saw Lights Out, uh, me and Nate, <laughs> this last month. I think it was this last month. <laughs> I laugh because we went... I love horror movies. Now, I am the biggest baby. I really, really am. But I love them. I can't get enough. And that's why October is like my favorite month of the year. Although I hate Halloween because it's just too far. But <laughs> too too much for me but I love all the scary movies that play on TV I live for it I love it and so anyway we went and saw that and <laughs> Nate Nate big Nate yeah we got about 10 minutes into the movie and he was ready to go like he no there's no joke here like he looked at me he's like I'm ready I we can go like this no I'm done we can go and I'm like you see in the middle of the theater packed because it was like the first weekend it came out and I was like are you serious we weren't gonna go <laughs> and he's like I mean if you if you're ready to go I'm ready to go like <laughs> he was having a moment and <laughs> We stayed I'm like just it's fine and <laughs> I thought it was good like I mean it was okay I didn't think it was that bad like it wasn't that scary it was more of it was jumpy for sure and it got you from the beginning to the end it really did I was like oh they're just gonna get right into it but <laughs> But I just, I laugh because it was a favorite moment for sure because here's this big guy about to lose his shit. <laughs> and I'm like, this is just a stupid little movie. It's not even like based on real things. You know, those are the ones that get you. But um, anyway, I just thought that was funny. But have you guys, did you guys see that movie at all, Lights Out? I mean, it really wasn't this epic film, I have to be honest. But the moment and still the fact that it was a scary movie, it's a favorite for sure. Oh my god. Anyway, but I think that's going to do it. Truly, this month really consisted mostly of the Olympics for us. Like, that's just what we enjoyed this month for sure. We loved it. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that it's over. But I will say, by the time it hits the end, you're kind of done, right? Like, you're kind of like, okay, this has been on for two weeks. <laughs> but I love it. But yeah, so I would love to know. Leave me in the comments what are your favorites for sure. And let me know if you really want me to bring these back. I'll have to, like, in my next vlog show you all of them. I have them all. True story. <laughs> anyway, guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. And please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.